All right, I think we all need to get to know each other a little better, so we're gonna play a little game called Tell Me About Your Hashtag Self. All right, so how we play this game, one at a time you're gonna come up here, tell a little bit about yourself, and then I want you to describe yourself in one hashtag. My hashtag would be like, hashtag, if I can find love, you can definitely find love. All right? It's been hard to keep up this sneaky act, this lie basically, so I am ready to just reveal to the guys who I am and why I had to do what I had to do. So uh, let's start it off with Robbie. Hashtag Lance don't make me dance. <laughs> <laughs> is this dude for real? Like, is this real? I think Robbie is phony. Well, my name is Robbie. Originally from Boston, Massachusetts. I live in Los Angeles now. I work in the beauty business. So my hashtag would be, hashtag, why be a nine when you could be a 10? <laughs> <laughs> I've never met anyone like Robbie before, except for like someone in the theater or something like that. Like, it's like a character. Next up, Danique. My name is Danique. I am originally from Atlanta, but I live in LA 11 years and I'm 30 years old. I found that a lot of people really like my personality. They like me. They just don't really want to be with me in that way. I haven't been in a relationship in about 11 years because I'm always somewhat suspicious when it comes to getting to know people. The reason why I'm here is because this is probably the only thing that I haven't tried. Um, what I'm looking for is someone to make me want to be barefoot and pregnant, <laughs> waiting for them, asking myself, what, when, and why did this happen to me? <laughs> and I guess my hashtag would be Danique the Freak. Danique the Freak. I think that's amazing. Up next, let's go with Paul. Oh, if I'd uh, pick a hashtag, it would probably ha hashtag perfectionist. I just can't get a good read on this guy. Like, is he just being, you know, pompous? Okay, next up, let's go with Sam. I am looking for that spark, and my hashtag would be hopeful romantic. All right, hopeful romantic. <laughs> Sam, up next, Nick. I'm here because I can't believe at this point in my life I can still say that I've never been in love. So my hashtag would be, I'm living for love, but I haven't found it yet. My name's Nick, I'm 31 and I'm from Hamilton, New Jersey. All my life I've always kind of approached life like love is just gonna happen and it's not working for me. This is my opportunity to actually come here and take a huge chance to find that very special someone. I've been in relationships before but I, I definitely uh, would say that I, I've never been in love. Let's go with Jason. Yeah. I'm 33, I'm from New York City and my hashtag would be chemistry because it's all about chemistry for me. My name is Brodney, I'm a personal trainer from Atlanta, Georgia. My hashtag would be ready for love. Hi, I'm Eric, I'm a hairstylist. I live in LA, I'm from Texas, and um, I think my hashtag would be hashtag be myself. Hi everyone, I'm Dylan. I'm a fashion publicist and a designer on the side. I think my hashtag would be hashtag spontaneity. I want somebody that can take me to the next level. I'm Chad, I'm from New York City, and if I had a hashtag, it would be um, hashtag flexible. <laughs> Don't take it the wrong way. Don't take it the wrong way. Who doesn't like a guy that's flexible? Come on. TMI. <laughs> what I meant is that I am mentally flexible. <laughs> I'm mentally flexible. I'm pliable. Well, well, you know what I mean. Hi everyone, I'm Brandon. I'm from LA. I work in behavioral health care. I'm also an activist and writer. If my life was a hashtag right now, I would have to say be happiness because that's all I'm really feeling right now. So I'm excited to be here. I'm Brandon. I'm 29 and I live in Los Angeles. I'm very confident. I'm adventurous and I'm often ridiculous. Me going from homeless, alcoholic to where I am today, I've learned that the greatest thing that I can do is connect with people on a day-to-day -day basis. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm just looking forward to being able to share a big, beautiful life with someone, and that is an ideal for me. All right, up next, let's go with Charlie. <clears throat> 
My name is Charlie. I am 26. I am from Wisconsin. A lot of people are surprised to hear that I'm gay. I know exactly who I am and I'm very comfortable with who I am. And once people get to know me, they know that I have like a lot of attributes and gay is just one of them. I'm looking for somebody to start a family with and I want the right person to do that with. And I guess my hashtag would be what the f Chuck. And <laughs> I feel like Charlie's hashtag matched his personality. All right, hi guys, I'm Justin. I live in Seattle, I'm from Portland originally. My hashtag might be don't limit yourself. There you go, all right. Up next, we're gonna go with Robert. I'm literally sweating bullets at this moment. I am petrified because I know that I'm gonna have to reveal to them that I'm the guy, I'm Prince Charming. My name is Robert Sepulveda, and um, I am your Prince Charming. No way! And did any of y'all have a clue at all? Yes. Right here. Oh my Oh, we had a clue. <laughs> I totally suspected that Robert was Prince Charming. He looks like a walking Photoshop. You lie like a rug. Super excited that Robert is our Prince Charming. He's very Prince-like, if I do say so myself. All right, Robert, is there anything you'd like to say to these guys now that they know you are our Prince Charming? Yeah, well, first of all, I want to apologize for being so sneaky. Um, <laughs> going forward, now I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. We're all taking a leap of faith, looking for real love. I'm looking for my dream man, and I hope that I can find that here. Just to let you know, it's going to be me. Obviously, tonight was all about first impressions. So, what do you think? I mean, some guys, I really um, appreciate them being so honest with me. Other guys, it's going to be an interesting journey. Um, <laughs> and don't worry, guys. Tomorrow, you'll get another chance to make another first impression with Rob. Because <laughs> we're going to have a little soiree by the pool tomorrow. Yay! Yeah. So you'll have all day to take in some sun, have a cocktail, and more importantly, get to know your Prince Charming. And it's very important that you do because, unfortunately, tomorrow night, some of you will be heading home. I know I said hashtag chemistry as, as my hashtag, and I felt chemistry. Like, I really want to stay here and make a connection with Robert. There are some things that I need to look for, too, because we both need to see if we're interested in each other. Well, all right, guys, this is where we're going to have to leave you. Enjoy the house, get to know each other better, have another cocktail. But unfortunately, I have to take Mr. Prince Charming with me. You'll get to see him tomorrow on your little soiree. All right? Uh, Say your goodbyes. Bye, guys. <laughs> bye, guys.